So welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to solve the inventory based problems. So it will be like applying IFRS rules and we will we'll be like getting the answers. So if we will start from this problem, the following figures relate to inventory held at the year end. So there are like three products here. Okay. So A, uh, B and C, three products are there and the cost is given, selling price of per unit is given, modification cost to make the sale that is also given, marketing cost and finally units held. Okay. So this is the unit held. So how should we value? See, when we are going to create, uh, when, when we are going to record the item for the first time, we should record it at cost. But thereafter, we have to record it at NRV or, or cost or NRV, whichever is like lower. Okay, so that's what we have to, uh, we have to value. So we'll start from here. So first we have to find out whether the cost or the NRV, which is lower, we have to find. So we'll start. So we'll put it as particulars. So particular is A, B and C. So cost is going to be 20, 9 and 12. So we have to get the NRV. So NRV refers to the selling price minus the cost to sell and the further uh, any modifications. Okay. So we have to get the selling price and the cost of modification cost to modify and then we have marketing cost which is a selling cost so we have to get the first three three numbers then only we could calculate actually nrv so nrv we could put it here so selling price is 30 12 and 22 cost to modify is nothing here two and eight marketing cost is seven two and two so nrv would be this number minus minus this number and again minus this number so that would be the nrv so whichever is lowest you have to multiply with that so cost or nrv which ever is lowest so that we have to take so the lowest is 20 or 23 20 is the lowest 9 or 8 8 is the lowest 12 or 12 both are 12 so we can just take it that so we have to multiply this with units so units is 200 150 150 and 300 so we will multiply and we will get the value so the value would be 20 into 200 so we will add all we will get the value of inventory So 8800 so i think we got the answer so that's about this problem we'll move on to the next problem so the next problem is similar to what we did in the earlier one so what we'll do is we will try to get uh, the all the numbers that we used there we'll put it here so we'll read the problem here the closing inventory at a at cost of a company at 31st January 2013 amounted to 284,700. The following items were included at cost in the 
total okay so uh, there is some inventory okay within that inventory two two uh, two items have been added but what has been added is at cost so what we have to find out is we have to find out what its cost really is and what would be the uh, value of it okay so first we'll find out what's a sorry first we'll find what's the, what are the items they have so the first item is coats and the second item is skirts So we'll start. <clears throat> we'll start with the quotes. Quotes which had cost 80 each. So at the time of uh, recording, it was recorded as 80, and there were like 400 quotes. And normally sold at 150, owing to a defect in manufacturing. Okay, so it was normally sold at 150. We have to record that owing to a defect in manufacture they were all sold after the reporting date at 50 percent of their normal selling price okay this so whole they were like they were they were sold at 50 percent of their price so we could put that into 0 0.5 so they were sold at 75 selling expenses amounted to 75 percent of the proceeds okay so selling expense is 5% of this number so that's 3.75 so the NRV would be this number minus modification cost and marketing cost so it is 71.25 so whichever is lower whichever is lower is 71.25 is the low number okay so whichever is lower is 71.25 and how many units we have we have 400 so we'll multiply So it is the value of it is 28,500. Okay. We will try to find out the, the original. Okay. The original cost of that inventory. We will try to find out the original cost of the inventory. So the original cost would be. 80 was the cost and there are 400 units so that comes to 32,000 okay so we'll just have it as of there we'll go to the skirts part so now we have 800 skirts which had cost 20 each these two were found to be defective remedial work in February cost 5 per skirt so that's 5 per skirt and selling expenses for that batch totaled to 800 so it is total 800 and they were sold for 28 okay so they are sold for 28 now we have to get the uh, value see the value we won't be like getting in units okay we won't get it in units we have to like separately we have to find out so we'll try to find so we'll start So the value would be okay. So I think NRV per unit we can't find okay. We can't find that we can find only in the value here because like the 800 okay 800 is given in whole number. So if you want we can divide it by units. So it's 800 amount divided by 800 units. So it should be one okay. It should be one. So I think now it's quite easy. You can just copy the formula. So it's 22. So whichever is lower, the lower is already the cost. The cost is already lower. So we don't have to much worry about that number. Okay, we don't have to much worry about that number. See, now how will we get the uh, value? Now how will we get the value? We'll start. So how can we get the answer? See, the answer works like this. Existing cost of inventory equals to 
टू लैक एटी फोर सेवन हंड्रेड राइट टू लैक एटी फोर सेवन हंड्रेड फ्रॉम हियर इफ दिस दिस इज एट कॉस्ट राइट दिस इज एट कॉस्ट सो वी डोंट नीड टू अगेन रेड्यूस इट बाई अगेन वी नीड डोंट नीड टू रेड्यूस इट ओके बिकॉज द the nrv or cost whichever is lower is 16 okay the original cost is also 16 so both are same numbers so we don't need to reduce 16 and add 16 because it's going to give you the same answer but the quotes is something that we have to add back okay so add add quotes at cost so we have to add that back Sorry, we have to list that. So we have to list thirty-two thousand, and we have to set that times to three lakh twenty thousand, and we have to add quotes at NRV. So we have to add twenty-eight thousand five hundred. so so the revised value of inventory okay so inventory is inventory would be this number so we got the answer so we removed the wrong cost and we updated with the correct cost okay so that's about this problem